Hi everybody, it's your guy here, the Unknown Trader, and today I want us to look at something very important, which is patience. Okay, I want us to look at how to remain patient when you are trading. Why? Because patience is the most important thing that will actually help you become profitable. Okay, uh, as Warren Buffett has already said, the markets are always moving money from those who are impatient to those who are patient. Okay, I repeat, markets are always transferring money from those who are impatient to those who are patient. That is, they are taking money from accounts uh, from those who are impatient and giving it to those who are patient. Okay, and just to ask you a quick question, have you ever asked yourself, why is it that every time you open a trade, they come back and close you, then go in your initial direction? Is it maybe the fact that maybe there's somebody monitoring you and every time you enter, they hit your stops and then go against you. Okay, because when I was starting, actually, I asked myself this question and I almost quitted this industry because I thought like, no, 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 this is impossible. There's somebody who is actually looking at my trades and every time I open a trade, they they actually close me out. Okay, and if you ever found yourself asking that question, today I'm going to answer it. Okay. Or let me answer it right right straight away okay uh the problem is not the market the problem is you you are doing something wrong and to be honest you are impatient okay 90 percent of retail guys are losing why because they are impatient okay they are impatient remember uh, market makers have to make the market they have to uh, uh, trick you into opening a trade because your money remains useless until you open a trade okay they can't take it if uh, you don't open a trade. So it remains useless if it's sitting in that broker account and there's no position opened. So they must create the market and trick you into taking trades. And when you take trades, that's when they can come and hit your stops and go into your intended direction. Not because that's uh, uh, that's what they do to you personally. No, it's because 90% of guys are losing money and that simply means 90 percent of retail guys are impatient so you can see already the importance of uh, being patient okay or let me just tell you something quick uh market makers have targets on a daily basis and say for instance let's just say for example uh today they have a target to make uh 200 million dollars and maybe they show people that they are going up that is they're taking prices up 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 working the high okay sending people up maybe they give a triple top okay if they gonna give a triple top they're simply sending you up once sending you up again sending you up the third time that is they're selling on the first push people are buying showing that pe prices are going up people are buying they are selling they sell the second portion do you think maybe for instance let's say their target is to uh, is actually to sell uh, orders worth 200 million do you think if They've already gone up once and twice. Maybe at that point, they already have uh, 150 million in their hands. Or maybe they have more because maybe p most people are now or more people are actually buying. Maybe let's say, for example, they have 400 million and their initial target obviously was 200 million. Okay. Do you think they're going to like risk going back to the top and close uh, those they've already trapped before just to get your orders worth $200 or your orders worth uh, maybe even a thousand dollars do you think they're gonna do that they're gonna risk maybe 400 million just to come back for you they're never gonna do that okay they don't care about your stops the problem is you are impatient like the 98 percent of people who are losing you are impatient you are entering quick okay so that's why they are closing you up okay and patience pays i believe if you have been following me for a while now you already know that all my chats are always right patience pays because that's the word i want to be reminded of every day when i'm, I'm on my charts okay and as i promised you at the end of this video you will be able to remain patient when you are trading which is highly important okay so guys patience pays as bill lip shoes has already alluded if most traders will learn to sit on their hands 50 percent of the time they will make a lot of money okay i repeat bill lip shoes if you don't know bill lip, lip, bill lip shoes go and search him okay he's one of the most successful traders in the world most of is actually one of the uh, successful hedge fund traders in the world okay and i'm not talking about this hedge fund that you know hedge funds that make uh, money when people fail i'm talking about real real hedge funds okay 
okay not uh hedge funds that trade simulated accounts because now at least uh the truth is coming out to light and most hedge funds have actually started uh uh revealing the real truth okay and they are calling their their challenges simulated uh challenges because you never trade the real market anyway that's not real capital okay they know that 98 percent of people are losing so that they've built their business on top of that uh ideology that 90 to 98 percent of people are gonna lose so they will make profit through people who are failing challenges and we all know that by now okay so i'm talking about the real hedge funds so billip shoes is one of the best and i repeat what he said for the third time if most traders will learn to sit on their hands 50 percent of the time they will make a lot more money okay and this is important uh even jesse one of the best traders in the world has actually said this uh he has said that he makes a lot of money because he's actually patient and that is a skill most people don't have people actually uh know where to enter but they don't make anything because they're impatient so patience comes in two ways you have to be patient when you are waiting for 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 for, for a trading opportunity and you have to be super patient when you are in a trade already say for instance when you're analyzing your trade you say okay my target is 100 perps and maybe you close your charts come back after an hour and you want to see your profits and when you come you are maybe in a profit of 20 perps without going back to look at market condition you close because you are scared of losing that 20 dollars the uh, 20 pips that you've already generated uh, i'm not talking in terms of dollars i'm talking in terms of pips okay so you are scared of losing those 20 pips that you've already made and then you close okay just to find that okay at the end of the day they went and hit your target of which most of the time they're gonna hit your target remember you didn't just set a target out of the blue you used uh maybe expansions or whatsoever criteria you use which is outlined in your plan okay so you must trust your analysis remain patient when you are in it and remain patient when you are waiting for a trading opportunity okay okay and that's what you, we actually gonna uh be doing today i want you to be able to remain patient when you are trading okay and at the end of this video i assure you you are gonna know exactly how to remain patient okay because i'm gonna share with you how i'm actually able to get the best trades on a daily basis because i do guys i do share uh the trades that i take with you most of the time okay in my videos if you go to my previous videos you will see i do share my trades with you and some people get so surprised how do you get perfect trades like this and the only secret is patience i'm gonna show you how i managed to become uh to to remain patient okay it was a huge problem for me when i was starting so this is why i'm sh i'm sharing this with you all and i know this is free information that i'm giving and most people don't treat free information as valuable okay that's a problem if you think that okay just because this information is free then it's not important it's up to you okay i just don't want to be charging for information because people are uh, are trying to make it out there and there's just this there's this big burden where they have to pay and i know it's hard for people who haven't like generated anything from the market to actually be paying for expensive courses and that's what i'm trying to fill okay so guys uh the first thing is actually the fact that you must know exactly what you are looking for if you don't know what you're looking for then you shouldn't be on the market okay whenever you go to your charts you must know exactly what you're looking for if i come and ask you what are you looking for what are you waiting for you must be able to explain exactly what you're expecting okay what you are looking for because if you don't know what you're looking for obviously you can't be patient because you're going to be chasing moves okay and honestly to be honest or to be 100 percent honest with you if you don't know what you're looking for go and start again find a strategy find a setup okay because you must know exactly what you are looking for okay imagine if uh you are hired by a courier company and they say go and deliver this and they give you a package to deliver on the package there is no address how are you gonna deliver that package to 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 the right address if there is no address non any number phones on 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 the package itself and you are not told where to take it to 
obviously not going to find the house. You're not going to deliver that package. Why? Because you can't deliver something to a place you don't even know. Okay. So you can't find something if you don't know what it did what it is exactly that you're looking for so guys to be honest if you don't know what you're looking for if you don't have an a plus setup okay then uh, you shouldn't be trading okay you shouldn't be trading you're just gambling you can't build a business on or uh, on this industry okay because you don't know what you're looking for okay and that's i'm not gonna go through this because i have gone through this countless times in most of my videos so if you don't know you don't have a strategy i have videos where I've been explaining the strategies that we use. Okay. So just go find a strategy that works for you. Even if it's not on this channel, find a strategy. Okay. Find a strategy. Know exactly what you're looking for because there's no one best strategy in this industry. There are thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of strategies that people are using every day. And there is no better strategy. As long as it works for you and you, you understand it, then it's actually good and you should stick to that okay so you can't find what you are looking for if you don't even know what it is that you're looking for okay and then secondly decide on the session to trade this is highly highly important guys we have three sessions i'm gonna go through this and i'll explain this in detail okay you can't be on the market from 2 a.m all the way to uh to 5 or 6 p.m in the evening guys you can't do that if you are doing that to yourself you are torturing yourself you're gonna get sick okay you're gonna get depressed or else you're gonna end up taking impulsive decision because your brain is not meant to work like that okay even a normal class even a normal class at school is uh or a, a single period doesn't go beyond maybe three hours why because your brain is not meant to work like that okay you are human there are human conditions you have to spend time with your family you have to go out you have to play some games you have to take a walk there's just a lot of things you have to do as a human so you can't be observing the charts from morning to evening that's just impossible and it's insane okay if you are doing that to yourself you're gonna remain sick okay and you can't build a business uh on an industry that Will actually make you sick okay you don't want that because health is the most important thing in life okay so you must decide on which session to trade and that will depend on the pairs you select okay and i'm gonna go deeper into this this is actually because uh different pairs move uh in a different way during uh different sessions okay so for you to decide on which session to trade you actually should know which pairs you're gonna take because there are pairs that move well during this session and there are pairs that move well during this session and there are pairs that move well during this session so we're gonna go through that again okay okay and again decide on the pairs to trade a day before so today it's monday it's a beautiful day i already have three pairs that i'm looking for okay three pairs that i'll be looking for okay so what i do is every day at 8 p.m i want to be analyzing my charts to find uh, the pairs that have set up in a best way for tomorrow okay and that for me is easy because i use the account even for those who don't use the account who are using different kind of strategies you can see that okay this pair is set up well and tomorrow it might give an opportunity so that's something you want to do you want to analyze a day before okay make things easy for yourself okay make things easy for yourself you don't have to torture yourself in this business okay you don't have to come and be looking at uh maybe 10 pairs in a day no 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 that's gonna like throw you into a state of uh analysis paralysis and you don't want to go through that state and just to give a small definition analysis paralysis is actually a state whereby you are now unable to take decisions because you have a lot of information okay looking at these charts you okay you think like this one is the one gonna look at this one no 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 this one is the one and then you're gonna be looking at this one oh, okay this one is the one okay you're just gonna get confused and things will be hard for you okay so that's something you really really don't want okay that's something you really really don't want okay that's self torture okay that's self-torture and then again guys um okay just to let you know what i do on this one 8 p.m i analyze and i want to have at least three pairs going into the day like today already i have two pairs i want to have three to two pairs that i am looking for okay okay today i have three yes today i have three okay that i'm looking at and that 
really really helps me okay because if i don't have anything on these pairs then obviously my capital is retained okay nothing has been lost okay and i'm not saying that uh the pairs that i have are the only pairs that are gonna move no the pairs i didn't select pairs i won't be looking at that will maybe go and move 200 bips on the day that simply doesn't mean i missed anything it's just a mindset guys it's just a mindset and once you have this mindset that you lost something you go to your charts you find that okay today you selected uh the 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 the, the, the pound and maybe gold maybe you selected uh gj and gold those are the two currencies you'll be looking at on the day and then you find that okay at the end of the day the euro moved 200 pips and the two currencies you selected didn't actually move the one that you got maybe you got 50 pips out of it you you don't have to think that you lost uh 100 pips no you didn't lose anything you didn't lose anything okay guys you didn't lose anything okay you didn't lose anything okay that's uh something important to know you didn't lose anything at all okay because you didn't have a strategy if you don't have a strategy uh, if you don't have a setup on this currency and it moves 200 pips as i say there is no one correct strategies there are thousands if not hundreds of thousands of strategies that different people are using on a daily basis so if you don't have a setup on this pair let those who have setups on that pair take that pair okay or else you're gonna be liquidity for them or maybe if you force an entry you're gonna enter and maybe let's say you win that's a bad loss that's a bad win why because you can't sustain it you can't sustain something you don't know i've learned this actually from the best guys in the world people who have a uh, massive or tons of years of experience okay uh i remember bill lip shoes i love this guy he actually said if he's in a position and it's winning however market conditions have changed and that simply means he's winning but there's something the market is doing that he doesn't understand he closes that trade even though he is winning and the reason is simply because you don't want to be in something you don't understand whether it's a win or a loss you don't want to be in something you don't understand why because you can't sustain it okay remember this is a journey of endless learning how do you learn obviously you learn by journaling and actually reviewing your trades finding out what did you do wrong you learn when you back test you back test what you already have which is your setup okay so if you're gonna be taking trades out of your setup obviously you can't account for that and you can't improve on that okay you don't want wins from our uh, setups that you didn't have okay even though they are big wins you can't sustain them okay if you can't sustain them in the long run that's gonna affect you you're gonna start bridging your plan and you're gonna start losing or in the long run you're gonna lose that's how the industry is you can't cheat your way out okay that's why uh it's advisable to always stay disciplined okay because you can't cheat your way you can't cheat your way up okay in the long run for those who are not prepared it's gonna show up okay the results will show okay so you need something you will be able to sustain in the long run remember this is a business okay so yes and let's go to the next uh, point wait for all the criteria of your setup to play out well that is to be fully met that people actually jump the gun okay they know exactly how they are uh setup should look and they know all the criteria however they don't wait for the criteria why because they are scared that the market is gonna move quick without them they want to get all the pips that they can no guys it's not about pips it's about the quality and listen to this carefully it's not about the amount of pips you get out of the market okay somebody who made 20 pips can still make more than somebody who got a thousand pips okay because it's about quality you want to be taking the best trades that you can actually scale in use bigger lot sizes on so it's not a matter of pips and unfortunately i know that most people are obsessed with pips it's not about pips it's it has never been about pips that's just a huge lie it's a mindset okay they want you to think that it's a matter of pips then you go to the market and you you know how 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 you feel when you are in a trade 
mostly when you're a beginner and even people with uh, maybe five years of experience still feel like this. You feel like just because you are in it and you're in profits, you feel like it's going to go a thousand pips. Whereas you know that, that there is ADR for currency, they might go maybe 250 pips max on a day. Sometimes, yes, they can go maybe 300 pips, okay? But there is ADR, average daily range. There is average weekly range. Uh, that is like a limit that actually controls market makers because they will break markets if they are allowed to go as many pips as they want. So the market is never going to go 1,000 pips in a day, okay? So it's funny how most people want my, want uh, prices to go 1,000 pips just because they are in a trade and they are in profit, Okay? It's so crazy. It's not going to happen. Have realistic targets, okay? Okay? That's never going to happen, okay? So, guys, you must wait for all the criteria to be met because it's not a matter of perps. Don't try to enter early so that, yeah, now you will your stops will be so tight and then you can make the most of profit. Guys, that's why they are closing you. You're upset with tight stop losses. I did mention in my video, in my previous video where we were going through mistakes that are costing traders. We did mention stop uh, placing of stop losses at the wrong places. You want to place your stops at a place where if they are hit, your whole setup is invalidated because if you have squeezed squeezed uh, stop losses and they get hit, your your setup remains valid. That means you're going to overtrade. You're going to take another trade. Squeeze your stops. They close you the second time. Do that the third time they close you. And then when they are ready to go, you're already discouraged, tired, or even angry. Okay? You are so angry that you are not even willing to take another entry. Okay? And that's how most people are losing. Okay? It's not about pips. I repeat. It's not about pips. Stop jumping or entering early because you want to make most of the pips. If you ever enter a trade because you are scared of missing out, that simply tells you that you are actually after pips. It's not after pips, guys. It's after, It's actually about the quality that you can actually scale in, okay? If you are still looking for, for, for pips, then you should change your mindset and you will see everything will work better, okay? And then another thing, you should take advantage of timing. This is highly important and this is my secret to getting most of the best entries, timings okay i'm going to explain this in detail i want to show you with examples because if i just talk about it you might not get it okay and then finally wait for stop hands to hit i don't trade until they hit the stops and i've learned this from many people okay and even steve mauro actually developed a song which says don't trade until they hit the stops he actually converted this from 50 cents uh a song uh, welcome to the candy shop okay and he says welcome to the candy shop don't trade until the hit the stops okay don't trade until they hit the stops this is why they are hitting your stops stop hands why are they always hitting your stops and going in your intended direction because they are gonna hit stops that's the that's the that's the risk that's the business they are running okay it's their duty to create the market Force everybody to enter in most of uh, most uh, most uh, especially those who are impatient. Okay, they enter trades to enter trades, enter trades, and then there's gonna be stop hands, hitting of stop hands. That is guaranteed. Most of the time, they are gonna hit stops. Okay, they are gonna hit stops. So this answers the question: Why is it that every time you enter, they they close you out and go in your intended direction? Because you are entering before they hit the stops. Wait them for wait th wait for them to hit the stops, then enter and see if they will be coming for your stops. Okay? Wait for stop hands. The moment they hit stops, if you enter after they've hit stops, most of the time, 98% of the time, okay, or even more. If you enter after they've hit stops, your stops are going to remain protected for, 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 for the entire session or the day or whatsoever, okay, uh, or until your, your, your target is hit, okay. Wait for them to hit stops and see if, 
if really they were after your stops they are only hitting your stops and you feel like there's somebody uh, that is actually monitoring you and their job is to hit your stops why because you are not waiting for stop hands they are gonna hit stops they've been doing this for decades they are gonna do it for many more decades they will hit stops this is the most important thing timing then wait for stop hands okay we will explain these things in detail but the one thing we want uh explain is uh the fa the a plus uh topic why because i've spoken about it too many times so guys let's proceed we have two sessions as i've already said you don't want to be uh, sitting in front of your charts uh, from 2 a.m. because obviously for me if I'm using my 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 country time zone South African time 2 a.m. it's when uh, the the Asian session opens and 5 p.m. is when the US closes okay for me so you can't be on the screen uh, from 2 a.m. all the way to 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 5 p.m. you are human you're not a robot okay so don't don't uh inflict such an amount of pain to yourself okay don't torture yourself okay we have three sessions we have asia london and us so you must select maybe one or two sessions to trade what i do personally i come during the equity hours and i'll show you okay and i want to be uh if i'm gonna take london i want to be there for one and a half hours to two hours okay one and a half hour to two hours maximum okay if i'm gonna be focusing on the us based on the pairs that i've selected i want to be there for one and a half hour or two hours maximum okay so that means if i'm gonna be trading two sessions in a day i'm only gonna be on the screen three to four hours okay and there's gonna be like uh, a lot of time in, in between for me to rest so i'm gonna be there for roughly one one and a half to two hours and then i will rest roughly four hours come back later and then look at the charts for one hour 30 minutes to two hours so you see how easy that is already i filtered out all the movements that happen throughout the day i've minus 90 percent of the problems okay because guys we are creating the problems for ourselves okay so um uh, as i said i'm going to explain uh this are uh, current currency movements okay as i said during asia the aussie dollar the yen and all their crosses are gonna move well during the asian session and uh the euro the pound and its crosses are gonna move well during the london and for us it's gonna be us currency us dollar currencies crosses metals and indices so if you're gonna be maybe uh when you were doing your analysis as i said i do my analysis a day before maybe i find that okay oh okay a pair that includes uh the aussie dollar has set up well what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come during asia and observe that currency because the, uh, the the australian dollar currency moves well during the asian session okay so that's what i do maybe if i'm gonna be looking at gj that means it's 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 the pound and the yen currency so i know that this currency will move well during asia or maybe move well during london so i can just come during this session and observe this currency but if it's gj most of the time i will be looking uh for this currency uh on the london session okay so that's basically what i do you must know which currencies move well during which session that will help you when you are selecting the sessions to trade for example if i'm looking for uh this is my favorite actually if i'm looking for the aussie yen uh, pay i come during the asian session because i know that's when it's gonna really really move okay so that's what i do okay say for example if i see that okay gold is set up in a good way and i'm gonna be trading it tomorrow obviously that means tomorrow when i come i'm gonna be looking for a trade during the u.s session and 90 to 98 percent of my trades are actually taken during the u.s session why the reason is simply because uh when you come during the u.s session more especially after the first hour that is during the equity time and guys i repeat for my equity times i'm still using the old times okay 3.30 was 9.30 before 
U.S. time change. So I'm still focusing on 3.30 South African time, which is now 8.30, okay? So I haven't changed any of my times. I'm still looking at the old times as my equity times, okay? Equity opening times. So guys, as I'm saying, if I'm going to uh, 90 to 98% of my trades are actually taken uh, through this session because by the time the equity opens, the U.S. or the New York session opens, that simply means all the money is in the market. All traders are in the market during that time. All traders are in the market. Remember, the Asian session is going to trick people into entering the market. The London session is going to trick more people into or enter the market. And the first hour of the U.S. or the New York session is also going to trick people into entering the market. So when the equity opens, already I know where stops are and the market is most likely going to be going for stops okay or maybe at that time already they have hit all the stops so they will be moving away from uh, all those stops to punish those who don't have stop losses because most people don't have stop losses and market makers know that so that means if you are in a negative position and you don't have stop losses they want you to feel the most pain so that you actually close with a very big loss because they know that people who don't use uh, stop losses are actually stubborn okay the only time they're gonna close is when they see big 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 losses in the account okay that's when they're gonna like be forced to close those trade you know emotions you are human okay and if you are losing a lot of capital at a time you're just gonna close your trade out okay so you must know that as well okay so it's two things when the u.s uh, or the new york session opens it's either stops have already been hit and traders are already trapped and they are now gonna be moving away from the trap volume or else uh they have been tricking people to enter and there are many stops in the market which they are gonna be going for okay and based on your setup you will have an idea of what will happen okay so that's why i love the new york session so uh, you must select a session guys if you look at everything we are doing we are actually trying to filter out all the nonsense so that we remain with very specific uh trades that we are looking for okay and we are narrowing everything down to to having the most uh, high probability uh trades to be looking for okay so this eliminates the impatient part okay it eliminates the impatient part for me i come during the u.s equity time and sometimes yes i'll find that the trade is already gone okay and if it's gone it's fine i didn't miss anything if you ever think you've missed something then it's just a mindset it's just a lie okay it's just a lie they want you to think okay if you think you've missed trades you haven't missed anything if it's not on your plan my plan says i come on to the charts during the equity opening time okay that is my plan so if something has moved before i come to the screen then i didn't miss anything why because it's i can't miss something that's not on my plan okay i can't miss something that's not on my plan okay just because there's a bus going to 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 cape town today doesn't mean i missed an opportunity to go to cape town because i'm not even planning to go to cape town okay so you can't miss something that is not in your plan okay things will be happening on a daily basis everywhere that simply doesn't mean you missed okay maybe uh chiefs and pirates are playing and i don't go to the game because i don't support any of those teams somebody's gonna say hey yeah you missed a very good game guys if i'm not into soccer i didn't miss nothing okay it boils back to your personality it boils back to your plan okay you don't miss things you are not interested in okay so please change that mindset of saying you missed something just because a currency has moved too many pips and you were not on it no if it's not part of your setup this is the second time uh, uh, uh saying this today if it's not in your plan you didn't miss anything okay why because you need something you'll be able to sustain in the long run it's not about today per se it's not about the opportunities that happen today no i told you wins and loses means nothing you won today you lost today it's just the mindset they want you to have you think like oh today i lost too much oh i lost on this trade blah 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 you didn't it's not a loss okay 
Those are just numbers, okay? And wins and losses means nothing, provided you are building based on your win rate. If you have a win rate of 30, then it simply means uh, losing, sev um, losing 70 trades out of 100. Th that means you didn't lose anything. That's your win rate. Peter Brandon has a win rate of 30%. Okay, out of 100, he loses roughly 70. He's one of the best in the world with that small win rate. It's not about high wins, okay? So just because he lost 70 doesn't mean he lost anything. Why? Because his win rate is that, okay? He makes more based on his risk-reward ra ratio, okay? So those are the things you must understand. There is a lot of... Uh, wrong mindsets they throw at people okay there's a lot of wrong mindset they throw at people okay there's a lot of wrong mindsets they throw at people and that's that's the crazy part because you believe you missed you believed you lost you didn't lose anything just because today you had a losing trade you didn't lose anything it's part of the business sometimes you're gonna lose that's part of the business. That's how the business is, is, is structured, okay? You, the best traders actually say uh, you must be able to make profit when you win 2 out of 10 trades, okay? So the fact that you, you, you lost 8 doesn't mean you lost anything, okay? That's just a mindset. That's just a mindset, okay? That's just a mindset. And Larry... There is Larry. He actually works for SMB Capital. He calls that Fugazi. Okay. He tells you that just because uh, you are scared of taking a risk worth a Lamborghini because you want to buy a Lamborghini and if you lose that amount of money, you think you lost a Lamborghini. He says that's just Fugazi. Okay. He said it's Fugazi. That's something that doesn't exist that people believe. Okay. So, guys. I want you to have the correct mindset because I once had that mindset. Remember, most of the things I'm sharing with you are going to enlighten a lot of things. You're going to see this industry for what it is, okay? You're going to see the industry for what it is. I'm trying to expose the reality of the industry, okay? You don't miss anything that's not on your plan. Larry said that's called Fugazi, okay? And when you go to look at the word Fugazi, it says it's a lie. It's something that doesn't exist. Okay. You think that, that just because today you had a losing trade, now you're a bad trader all of a sudden. Yet your win rate is 50%. That simply means you're going to lose 50 trades out of 100. That's Fugazi according to Larry. Okay. It doesn't exist. It's a lie they want you to believe. So guys, start seeing this industry for what it is. Okay. That will help you remain patient. Just because I'm waiting for the equity time and some of the trades move before the equity time, I didn't miss anything. It's Fugazi. I missed nothing. Okay? I missed nothing. I can't miss anything that's not on my plan. Okay? It doesn't exist. Okay? So, guys, uh, okay, subscribe if this is adding value to you. Okay? Subscribe. Okay, because I help you with strategies and I share my experience with you. And I want everybody to build, as, to build a sustainable business out of this industry. Okay, hence why I'm telling you, don't stress yourself too much. Nothing is meant to be hard. This is just a business uh, where you just have to rinse and repeat. Take the same thing every day. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you can't take the same thing every day. That's why we always say have an A plus uh, uh, setup because it's all about rinse and repeating. Okay. Taking the same thing day in and day out. Okay, let's just proceed. When do good moves happen? And I'm going to be quite quick right now because this video has been so long. Uh, okay, I always come during the equity opening times. That is during the middle hour. Okay, that is during the middle hour. That's when I want to be coming to my charts. And I say that if some moves have already taken place, then I miss nothing. It's Fugazi. They want you to believe that you miss something. Then... You can't miss you can't miss something that's not in your plan and sticking to your plan helps you in the wrong in the long run remember if i'm coming to the asian session i'm coming at 3 30 and the asian session opens at 2 a.m so that simply means i'm coming one hour 30 minutes after and each session has three hours okay that simply means i'm gonna be on the charts for one and a half 
hour okay one hour 30 minutes i might add 30 minutes if maybe i haven't been given an opportunity i might add 13 minutes uh, to see because sometimes a trade happens 30 minutes after the equity has closed okay so guys i this eliminates my time say for instance if i have uh, two currencies one moves well during the asia and the other moves well during the u.s session that simply means i'm gonna be uh, on the market 3 a.m and roughly by latest by five i'm gonna actually be out of the trade that simply means actually i was on the market by uh, i was on the market for almost one hour 30 minutes and then from 5 a.m i'm gonna be resting and i'm gonna be out of the market and i'm gonna come at 3 30 a.m p.m so you can see there's gonna be a lot of hours where i am doing nothing okay and i'm gonna come again and just look at the markets or be there for roughly one hour 30 minutes or two hours okay so this eliminates uh, a lot of issues for me and i'm an uh, I'm on my right state of mind or my best state of mind when I come to the market because guys if you're gonna try to be on the market for five hours uh, a day and maybe the opportunity is presented on the sixth hour you're not gonna be able to take it because you are gonna be mentally unready or unprepared why because you want to be at the best state of your mind when you are actually on the charts okay you want to be interpreting the information from the charts from the perspective of the market so to do that you must be at the best uh, state of your mind okay so that's why i'm saying don't uh don't actually try to 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 uh to harm yourself by being on the screen the whole day you can't do that guys okay 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 and as i said again wait for stop hands already we have say that okay good trades are gonna come during the equity time and i told you i don't trade until they hit the stops and i told you the reason why they're actually closing your stops and then going in your direction is because in the first place you are entering before they hit the stops and we know they're gonna hit the stops 98 percent of the time they're gonna hit the stops okay so this is highly important remember here my goal is to show you how to remain patient when you are trading and and combining all these things together you will be able to remain patient okay okay and uh when do they throw stop hands okay first of all let me say stop hands have two proposals okay and this is where i see a huge confusion out there okay people think like stop hands are about hitting stops only that's not the case stop hands have two proposals the first propose is actually to to hit stops of those who entered early the second purpose is at the same time to send people into the wrong direction okay i'm going to show you this in a moment but you must know that stop hands have two purposes one of that purpose is going to be closing those who are in profit and the other purpose is actually uh, sending people into the wrong direction okay so when do they usually throw stop hands they throw stop hands mostly at the beginning of the week okay because Fridays mostly will close at a point whereby they have trap volume above and they have trap volume below. Okay, so obviously when the new week starts, they are gonna go into the, uh, they're gonna hit stops. Okay, and as I said, stops serve two purposes: to send people into the wrong direction or to close those who are uh, already in profit. Okay so at the beginning of the week they will be thrown either to stop out those who were in profit from friday because the people want to hold their trades uh to the next week okay and in most inst instances when monday opens they can either open with a gap or open with a big pin as we saw last week on gold go to gold last week you will see monday they gave a very big pin okay uh it was actually 175 bips okay plus 175 bips plus and it didn't mean last for a minute so in one minute mm, they pinned 170 bips so you can see that they've closed a lot of people or oh, else if they don't do that they're gonna just open with a very big gap and you know what a gap that means okay so obviously i don't want to be holding uh trades from friday to the next week okay or say for instance if if on the week they are planning to go up okay on the first day of the week which is obviously monday they might send people down so they will go down so that they trap most of the guys and then 
build on their template of going up and up and up uh uh during the week or maybe correcting a little bit to pull to log profits on friday okay that is a common practice and uh, at the beginning of the day they're most likely to throw a stop hunt i said stop hunt serve two functions one is to send people into the wrong direction secondly is to close those in, who are in profit so at the beginning of the day that is obviously during the asian session this is why these days i'm more interested in asian session because i watch a lot of podcasts and as i was watching a podcast uh there was a guest on the humble trader who actually emphasized the importance of uh the first two hours of a day and the last two hours a day obviously that's the first two hours of asia and the last two hours of the u.s session okay and since uh listening to that i've been yeah i've been like looking at the asian session most of the time and it really helps so during the beginning of the day mostly the the asian session they're gonna send people into the wrong direction and close those who in profit the previous day okay so that's when uh, they're more likely to throw stop hands and they're more likely to throw stop hands at the beginning of the session uh this is why i love the equity time okay it's either they're gonna trap you at the beginning of the session or else they're gonna throw a stop hunt okay and by the time the equity open it opens if maybe they've already thrown a stop hunt then now the only job is to lock that level and then go into the right level so it makes things much 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 easier for me okay and uh they're most likely to throw stop hands at the uh beginning of the equity opening time as i said i always wait for stops and i come during the equity time most of the common practice that i've seen and that's something i love because it gives me a great opportunity is actually the fact that they throw stop hunts at the beginning of the equity time because they use asia to trap they use london to trap and they use the very first hour of the session uh of the new york session to trap so when the equity opens in the middle hour 3 30 south african time 3 30 p.m south african time that's when they are just gonna throw stop hunt close those who are in profit or else send people into the wrong direction then go to the right direction so that's a common practice is it always going to be like that no okay your job is to hunt remember as a trader you have responsibilities people want things to remain the same day in day out your job is to hunt that's why there is currency selection i spoke about select the currencies you're going to be trading a day before why do you select currencies if everything is going to be so perfect every day you select currencies that have set up in the best way and even on the day you don't take trades blindly you look at the currencies that have set up in the best way that will give you the best opportunity okay so your job is to hunt for the best setups okay okay but this is what they're gonna do most of the time but not always okay because they don't want to be crammed anyway uh and i'm almost done guys uh let's look at this uh, okay 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 now i'm going to the charts and uh, we will be looking at this and uh in charts so that you can just understand what i'm talking about and by now i already believe that most of you will be able to be patient when you are trading okay if you put what i said into practice okay now let's uh look at uh a trades that happened uh in the asian session okay so these are random trades that i've just selected as examples as you can see uh i said asia right yes it's asia so if i'm gonna be look looking at the asian session then obviously i'm gonna be looking at the aussie and the yen currency and obviously if i'm looking at the aussie and the yen and their crosses obviously aussie yen is gonna be the one that moves well because all this both these two currencies move well during the asian session okay so let's just look i told you i don't care about the first hour i'm not even there on the chart sometimes if i'm listening to music playing games or else doing something okay doing something different okay uh during that first hour okay that's what i do personally every day okay i wait for 3 30 a.m south african time i told you 3 30 a.m was 9 30 however now it's 8 30 because u.s times have changed but i haven't changed i'm still focusing on the old times hence why i'm still looking at 3 30 south african times okay so i haven't changed times my time still remains the same okay so guys as i said i wait for 3 30 and as you can see 3 30 opened here when 3 30 opens one thing i know is that 
they are more likely to throw a stop hand so my job is to wait okay 330 opens what do i do i do nothing i wait and i'm using an ema of 20 okay it guides me okay i want to enter when an engulf candle closes inside i repeat when an engulf candle closes inside so when 330 opens one thing i do is i start looking at each and every 15 minute that opens okay up to five uh five five o'clock or else five uh five thirty so i told you i want to be on the charts one hour 30 minutes up to two hours okay so that's my max time on the charts during a session time okay so guys uh as you see it opened at 3 30 and i wait look at how perfect this uh, rejection is it's resistance right they hit the resistance they come the next day they hit the resistance guys these people wow these people are geniuses the market makers are geniuses because they know what your books are saying therefore they must uh, actually act according to your book so that uh, you can enter based on what you've read on the books books tells you about support and resistance okay and most people saw this as a very good rejection looking even at the candle it's a dodgy followed by an engulf how many people entered here many people sold right here okay and again as they went up they give you a rare track and b candles going up remember stop hunts are gonna be explosive candles they're gonna be big big candles okay and look at how funny this is as they are sending people into the wrong direction they're using very big candles very big candles very big candles but i'm not talking about that today i'm talking about the importance of time okay the importance of time being patient okay so i wait for 330 i wait for the equity time already i'm patient okay because i don't take anything before the equity time and on the equity time after the equity opens, I wait for a stop hunt. So again, I'm patient because I want to see a stop hunt. Okay, I want to see a stop hunt. So this is where the equity opens. What do they do? They send people up. I told you, stop hunts have two purposes. Send people into the wrong direction. This is the beginning of the day. They actually plan to go down. But what are they doing? They're sending people up. Okay, is it always going to be like this? No. Okay, you know, these are the markets. But most of the time they are going to be like this okay they send people into the wrong direction okay and again from those who believed in this as a rejection obviously for people who sold here their stops are above here okay above here there's a lot of stops from people who sold here okay so actually they hit those stops so stop hands have two purposes as i've already alluded Firstly, they send people to the wrong direction. Secondly, they close out everybody who is in profit at that time. And look at how perfect this happens. They give you an engulfing candle. One, two, three. Everything is about three. But I'm not talking about threes today. We are talking about patience, okay? So they give an engulf and they give another push. They are sending people up. How do they sell? If they are going to be selling, they sell in portions because retail guys can't match their orders, right? So they have to sell in portions. How do they do that? They show you that they're going up. You are buying they're selling to you show you that they're going up you are buying they sell it to you uh show you that they're going up you are buying they're selling that to you okay and when their orders are fully met then when they change direction and look they change direction with this very big engulf this is now the biggest candle going down from these three pushes that tells you that immediately they've shifted the zone they tried to go up the last time maybe to get some orders again and then they fail and the most exciting part is if you look at stop most stop hunts they're not gonna allow you to get most of the profits okay so if you are trading 330 you must understand stop hunts in and out quick okay so when they've got what they want i told you try try entering after they've hit stops look they try to go up the second time now they give an engulf that closes inside the ema what did i say i wait for engulfs that closes inside the ema obviously this is also mm, based on my day account okay based on the initial strategy the bigger picture okay one two three they wanted to the three that's what we use as our strategy and i've made a lot of videos about that kind of strategy okay so you can just go and watch my previous videos okay so now they've done they have trapped everybody up if you have sold here based on support and resistance and then you say oh no that i entered but they came and hit my stops and after hitting my stops they went into my intended direction obviously it's because 90 percent of people are doing what books are saying okay and now 
most of the people have entered here some chase this move and then when now they are closed obviously obviously you're gonna feel that like they're after you because this is gonna happen every single day okay that's why you're feeling like they're against you they are not against you try entering after they've hit stops there's gonna be hitting of stops okay and everybody's entering early this this rejection here is made by intentions to trick everybody to trade because i told you your money means nothing it's useless to them if you you haven't opened a position okay and now when the, after they've grabbed everything they want look at how they shift the zones they are gone guys they are gone immediately when this candle closes inside here when you enter obviously they're never gonna come back and you put your stops here the problem is if you put your stops here you're trying to squeeze your stops they can go back again okay trying to 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 get more orders if they haven't fully met their orders they can go up again okay and then try and then fall but they are never gonna release these guys up here they are never gonna release these guys up here okay because there are many conditions sometimes you find that they have guys trapped from the previous day they are not gonna risk letting go of billions of dollars or millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars just to get your hundred dollar worth of stop losses okay they're not gonna do that they are not after you you are imp making impulsive decision you are jumping in too early putting your stops where everybody has put their stops that's why they are coming for you and you think that there's somebody out there who's observing and who is actually against you who's maybe hired to, 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 to hit your stops. It's not going to happen like that, okay? It's obviously because you are all putting your stops at the wrong place. 98% of people are doing this. Hence, 98% of retail guys are losing. 90 to 95, up to 98% of retail guys are losing. The stats, it's on every broker. They are forced by law to release their stats, okay? So if you look at the footer of most broker, they tell you that on this broker, 98% of people are losing. On this broker, 90 what percent are losing this is why even these problems that are popping out every day found an opportunity you find that if uh, people are failing to make uh, money through trading they are now opening prop firms why because they know that already they were part of that 98 percent that was failing and now they know that 98 percent of people are gonna fail so that means 98 percent of people are gonna fail challenges and that means more profit to them okay so guys you must know what happens so i wait for 3 30 and then i wait for a stop hunt okay so i'm either i either know that okay by 3 30 they've hit stops already so i'm waiting for them to lock the level or else i'm waiting for them to hit stop hunts enter here put your stops at the right place up here then your entry is safe okay your entry is safe okay that's how it is that's how it is okay that's how it is okay let's go to a second example okay it's still something that happens in asia same currency different examples okay uh if you actually look at this example right here you will see that okay 330 opens right here on this candle most people entered on these pins okay people don't want to see pins and it's funny people don't want to see pins okay when people see pins yo 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 they jump into opening trades guys it's not about the pins most pins are gonna be traps it's about timing entering at the right time and understanding stop hunt look this look like a, an uptrend okay higher highs and lower highs higher highs and lower highs okay i mean higher highs and higher lows okay higher highs and higher lows and then this looks like a, a, an uptrend if you don't understand stop hands and timing you're gonna be trapped okay what do they do people sold on these pins here okay and then they went to close everybody who sold here okay and there are people who actually now see an uptrend I told you stop hands send people into the wrong direction okay and close those who are in profit every time a stop hand is gonna achieve that okay so your job is to remain patient okay and look just after you've end that's just after the people have sold they get closed and look at how fun it is this stop hand doesn't allow you to get much profit now they're giving you a pattern 
they're giving you a pinning golf and then golf that closes inside of your EMA. What did I say? I'm looking for in golfs that close inside an EMA. That is what I'm looking for. Okay. So you enter here, you put your stops at the high of the day. Obviously, if they go and hit your stops, that means your setup is invalidated. You were wrong. There's no need to uh to revenge trade here. You were wrong. You just have to accept that you were wrong. Okay. However, if you enter after this engulf and put your stops here or somewhere here, you are trying to squeeze them to make the most of profit. They are going to come back. Okay, you see as they did here, they came back and closed you. If they didn't close you here, they closed you here. Okay, so you must put your stops at the right place. But the most important thing is understanding that when 3.30 opens, they are going to throw a stop hunt. Wait for the stop hunt. Okay, wait for the stop hunt. A stop hunt sends people in the wrong direction or and or else it closes traders out or it does both okay those are the two functions of a stop hunt now you understand what a stop hunt is and now you understand that 330 the equity opening time is actually going to create a stop hunt so you don't have to rush you see this pin here you want to be entering no 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 expect a stop hunt okay expect a stop hunt if 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 they are giving a continuation pattern you'll find that okay 330 opens here and then they give a stop hunt back into the trade into the trend that's when they continue that's if they're going to be giving a continuation okay a trade okay or oh, those are my favorite call continuation trades okay i don't want something where already 330 opens down here obviously this is not a stop hunt okay they are going to give a stop hunt most likely after 330 okay so if i don't understand what's happening i just want to be out of it okay that's the most important thing now and when you understand what you're looking for, it becomes easy to remain patient. Okay, I'll show you. Th I'll show you the stop hunt that goes inside that I actually want to see and why I'm saying that. Okay. And now here's another example, same currency again. I love this currency for the Asian session. Okay, as you can see. Uh, okay, this is the first hour. There are people who sold here. Look at how the market comes. And then 3:30 opens here. They are gonna throw a stop hunt. They are gonna throw a stop hunt. Okay. They're going to throw a stop hunt. If already they've thrown a stop hunt, they're going to lock the level. Okay. So look at what they do. They open 330. They go up. The people who took this and they were sent into the wrong direction. Okay. Remember, yes, it's 330 and they are at the levels. Okay. So it's understanding stop hunts. Okay. Because yes, there are most people who lost this one because it was actually at the levels. Okay. It's important to understand the levels and the behavior on the levels. But again, it's important to understand the importance of stop hunts. Okay, 3.30 opens. What am I looking at? What am I looking for? I'm looking for a stop hunt after 3.30. You don't throw a stop hunt. I'm not in. Markets are always going to be moving. That's the job of the market to move, move, move. So if they don't meet my criteria, I don't want to be in. And if they move without me, obviously, I didn't miss anything that I don't have a setup for larry says it's for gazi okay so yeah so you see what 330 opens they throw a stop hunt back to the top okay yes they don't take those who are out uh with prices exactly but they do with spread okay so guys you must understand they are that that 330 most of the time they're likely through to throw stop hunts every time no that's why your job is to find trades where they did okay wait for them if they do throw a stop hunt Okay, wait for trades where they do throw stop hunts. Okay, okay, okay. Once they are done with the stop hunts, enter after stop hunt. Okay, that's your job. Look for trades where the stop hunt has been thrown. Okay, that's where you get the best entries. Okay, that's your job. If maybe they went up and up and up. Okay, I don't like a trade whereby 330 opens here and then they just go no i love trades where 330 opens and i wait for stop hunts okay as you can see this is a 22 trade what is a 22 trade it's a trade whereby this is the first leg this is the second leg the second leg also has a second leg it has an m pattern okay so this is a 22 trade the second leg has a second leg it's a 22 trade if you understand that this is an example whereby I told you sometimes I wait for, 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 for 30 minutes after the session closes. This is one of those trades where you see this is in a gulf. It didn't really close inside, so you can wait. And if you waited, you got your entry here where they closed inside the EMA, okay? Even though it was a little bit late, but 
this is a best this is the best entry if you are trading this currency at uh, during the agent session okay wait for trades where they are done with the stop hunt that is highly highly important okay that's highly important and i can't emphasize the importance enough okay wait for stop hunts okay if they don't throw a stop hunt then you have no entry or i don't have any entry i wait for trades where they are done with the stop hunts okay it's a job if they are not done with stop hunts then you have no entry i have no entry okay so that's what i do wait for trades where they did throw a stop hunt if they did throw a stop hunt they're done with it then you get your entry okay because you know now that you're going against the head even for those who were right before you know now that they've been closed and you are moving with the market movers okay because now they are done with their job okay so here's another example on 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 the same currency and this is an example whereby 330 opens here okay i misplaced this 330 opens here and it gives a stop punt back into the trade okay these are the stop hunts i need 330 opens here immediately when it opens they throw a stop punt to close those who are, who are jumping in and to also scare those who are in profit i told you sometimes you come and you find that okay your target was 100 pips and now you find that you are in 20 pips uh, profit you close because you are impatient no they are gonna throw these tactics to you okay so you must understand the importance of stop hunt 330 opened here i just misplaced this line here okay 330 opened here and then the moment they open that's when they stop hunted so these are the stop hunts that i want to see okay i want to see them going uh stop hunting first so they stop hunt back into the trade for a continuation so this is an example where they give a continuation if they give a continuation 330 is going to open right here above and that's when they are going to stop hunt because i want to see a stop hunt after 330 okay and this is 330 south african time anyway okay it's the equity opening time of uh of 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 this session okay so guys you see now what i'm talking about you see what i'm talking about 330 opens they throw stop hunts okay and I'm repeating, I misplaced this. The stop hunt opened here. They stop hunted back to the trade, okay? Uh, let's proceed now. It's, it's the currencies that move in London. I'm feeling exhausted now, guys. I'm really tired, okay? I'm really tired. And the time now is actually 9 a.m. So this is actually 30 minutes before the equity time. You see, I'm recording, okay? I don't want to be on the markets or on the charts before the equity opening time. Obviously, I will be done okay and already i've analyzed i know what i'm gonna be looking for on the charts okay so it's easy for me to come after the equity opening time the time now it's 9 a.m 9 a.m okay um my se my london session opens at 9 30 south african time okay so yes i'm recording and i believe most of you might be wondering why am i recording at this time obviously because i don't want to be on the charts i want to go there during the equity open after the equity is open that is uh at the hour which the opd the equity opens then i want to look for a stop hunt sometimes stop hunts will come an hour later okay so that's why i say when the equity opens i want to be following each and every 15 minute candle that opens okay each and every new 15 minutes I want to see if it brings an opportunity it gives that opportunity that i'm looking for okay so sometimes I told you i am there for one and a half hour to two hours so sometimes yes the trade might happen on the last hour or sometimes i'm there 3 30 and the trade happens at 3 45 sometimes i'm there at 3 30 the trade happens at uh at uh, 4 30 sometimes i'm there the trade happens at 5 uh 15 okay so i want to be following each and every 15 minute candle to see if they give an opportunity so looking at gj i told you if i'm looking at gj i'm gonna be looking uh for the london session so you see here what did gj do people entered you see rejection rejection people are entering on these rejections and then they are wondering why they're getting closed obviously because they are impatient markets move money from patient from impatient people to patient people warren buffett okay so as you can see equity equity opens on this green can on this uh pin here okay it's a pin People are buying. People are obsessed with pin. That's why they always give you pin these days. Okay. People are obsessed with pins. So they give you a pin. What do they do? They go and close those who are in profit from uh, the first hour. Not only that, they send people up again. 
And it's funny. Just look at what they do. The moment they do that, they don't even close two candles above that level. Immediately it's an engulf. You see? Immediately it's an engulf. You just wait for a candle. Now that closes inside. Or else, as this candle closes inside, you wait for that final push. And then you see they give you an engulf. And then you can just put your stops at the high. Okay? So you know that if they go back and hit your stops, your trade is invalidated. But I want to keep my stops roughly 20 pips for currencies and roughly 25 pips for gold or other indices or metals or maybe for oil, okay? So you see the power of knowing the equity time and the, I told you now it's uh, 9, 9 a.m. Okay, I told you my session opens at 9.30 South African time. That's the London session, okay? You see at 9, which is the current time at which I'm recording this video, I still have 30 minutes, uh, okay, to go to 9.30, okay. Here I wrote 9.90, okay, it's a mistake, but it's 9.30, okay. So I don't want to be on my charts before the equity opens. That's why I'm still even recording now. I'm not having those, uh, what if they are moving now? What if, it, no, 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 I don't care about that. If they move, that's not in my strategy, okay. So I'm not rushing to anywhere. The only time I'll be like looking for the first hour is when there is major red news, that's when I know that news will present an opportunity and they might present that opportunity before the equity opening time, okay? So as you see, 9.30 opens, they throw a stop hunt. They close everybody who entered early. Then you are wondering, why are they closing me? They are after me. No, they are not after you. Your problem is you're not waiting for stop hunts. Don't trade until they hit the stops, okay? So that's the most important thing, okay? And I don't want to sell if, uh, you see, this candle was so big. I don't want to sell on candles like this, no? I want to wait for a pullback, then I can sell. That gives me a better opportunity because I know most of the time they will pull back, okay? Okay? So let's go to another example. Uh, same currency, but I'm trying to use different examples so that you can see. This is where the market has broken up. In, in in one direction and it's trending uh it's trending it's trending strong okay so you don't want to be counter trending however when 9 30 opens here what do they do they give a pin and then they give like two candles going down this is a stop hunt okay when you look at how this is trending obviously this is understandable and when you look at this engulf i need an engulf that closes inside the ema okay well this all well all this is inside an ema but look at this engulf this shift the zone from uh it's a five minute chart right so let me count 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 55 60, 65 70 so this candle engulfs almost 75 minutes so all the job done uh throughout the previous uh 75 minutes has now been engulfed so this is a, a best entry understanding timing stop hunts okay and looking for an engulf that closes inside the ema so if you understand here, I'm patient because I select my currencies well and I select the session that I'm going to trade the following day based on the currencies that I've selected on the day. OK, so guys, I know if I'm going to trade uh, the Asian session, it comes 2 a.m. for me. That is in the morning. So obviously I have to have enough rest. I'm going to take it then rest. OK, so that's the most important thing okay and most of the time if i'm taking asia i won't take london i'll come and take the the u.s session okay because i don't usually focus much on those uh on the london and the asian session unless if i have a setup but i've been looking at the asian session these days okay because uh my favorite session is the u.s session and as you can see the 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 the, the, the uh, gj is not a favorable currency as you can see it moved during london because the pound moves during london okay so you must know which currency moves when okay and you must know that uh to be you must be patient so i always come at the equity time that's why i told you that now it's uh it's 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 it's, it's six past nine so i'm still recording why because i don't care i want to be on my screen before okay i only want to be on my charts uh, after the equity has opened that's when i start waiting for a stop hunt okay understanding stop hunts okay okay the same applied to today's monday okay if you go and look at the asian session you find most currencies really moved very well okay and they threw stop hunts exactly after the equity opening time okay so those are the things you'll see on the charts okay so i'm just gonna be quite quick right now because i want to be done in roughly two minutes okay Okay, as you can see, this is a different example. Guys, I tried not to 
use the same examples for you okay look here look here if the stop hands are not hit then you don't have an entry okay wait for uh, uh opportunities where stop hands have already been hit that's when you can enter okay if they don't hit the stop hands then you have no entry wait for them to hit stop hands wait for opportunities where they are done with stop hands okay wait for opportunities where stop hands have been hit that's when you be able to get your trade this is not rocket science guys this is not rocket science they hit the stops Gulf closes inside the ema aligning with your strategy you are in okay okay so look here i told you this is support perfect look at how they're behaving at the support they're giving pins 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 people are so obsessed with pins why because books tells you to enter after a pin okay so what do they do they give pins 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 and then immediately they hit stop see uh okay 9 30 opened here on this first pin right here this is where people have been entering okay however they give this engulfing candle followed by another big engulf so they are done once they are done they shift the zones and as you can see yes one two three they try to go up again but they fail and then they give the first engulf that closes inside the ema if you don't trust this engulf you wait i don't sell when the candle is big like this okay i want to get the best full so i wait for a pullback if i wait for a pullback here's an entry but this was a very perfect entry, okay? This is uh, These are the kind of entries I take. Because now they are done. Put your stops above the high of the day. If they go back and hit the high, then you know your, your setup is invalidated, okay? Okay? If you didn't trust this one, it's fine. You could have waited and you could have taken this one. But now you're getting a very worse fill as compared to this one. Or else you just shift to a smaller time frame. Then you will get uh, the best entry because if something has already happened on a bigger time frame then shifting to a smaller time frame it's it's it's, it's advisable okay because that thing has already happened on a bigger time frame okay and you know now if it has happened on a bigger time frame they've hit stops and now they have trapped volume here you know that even if you are going to go to a one minute time frame you put your stops above the high you're putting actually your stops above the high on a five minute time frame okay but you'll be actually trading on a one minute time frame which will simplify all things for you it's a problem for those who jump to small time frames before the before the setup is actually met on a bigger time frame okay so once they've hit stops on a bigger time frame obviously you can go to a smaller time frame now okay everything becomes easy okay but if you're just gonna be focusing on a one minute time frame, yes, it's gonna be noisy and stuff. You don't understand if you don't understand it, you're gonna get trapped and you're gonna be charged many times before you get it right. And that's something you don't want, okay? So you see, they've now closed everybody from this session and now you see, stop hands. And I'm gonna go through roughly two example from USD and I will be done. Okay, US session and I'll be done. This is the New York session. And okay, I'm using gold in this instance. Look at where they open uh, 1530. I told you for US it's 1530. I've been using 1530 South African time ever since and I'm still using it today. I don't change my times, okay? So it doesn't matter. Look, this is where uh, 1530 opens, okay? We are, we are roughly inside. This is the low, this is the high. We are inside. What do they do? They take traders down, down, down. They take traders down. What are they doing? They're closing everybody who entered after these pins. Okay? They're closing everybody who entered here before the session began. Okay? Before the equity opened. The, the people who, have, who are already on the trade or in the move just before the equity. So they come back for them, close them, and send people into the wrong direction. Look at how the market is actually aligning with this move. And then immediately people are trapped and now they are reversing so this is the engulf it didn't close inside the ema so you could have taken this one okay which closed inside the ema but for somebody who understand for somebody who has experience this is the right trade okay if you have experience already you know about stop hunts you know that they are done and this is your entry but if you are you haven't spent enough time on the charts and there's a lot you don't understand then you can wait after this you get this one okay yes it happens late 
but you still managed to get roughly 80 bips and for somebody who entered here they managed to get 100 and something bips plus okay so understanding the importance of stop hunts okay 330 wait for a stop hunt most of the time it's gonna be like that okay okay the same applies to this one okay this is an instance where I told you I tried to use different examples this is an instance where 1530 opens it opened on this candle here this white candle here and this is where already they've hit stops from those who are uh, who are in profit during the, the London session okay and obviously the reason they did this they didn't come to the Asian session is because there are traders who are trapped going down and they don't want to release them i told you there are times when they don't they, they actually want to lease most uh, money just for your stops okay and now they are closing these guys and the, in this case they've already given your stop uh, the stop hand but you don't enter immediately still i want to see and be sure so when there's noise like this i don't want to enter i want to draw my lines like here and then the moment they break out of this whole rubbish that's when i want to enter my trade okay because now they are done with this uh, nonsense this is a head and shoulder inverted head and shoulder okay so this makes everything much easier for me okay this makes everything easier for me okay this is where they've hit now they've locked but i want to see them getting out of this because as you can see they try to go down one more time they failed and then okay yes this candle closes inside but when there's too much noise like this i want them to break out of this noise the moment they break out of this noise or the moment they break out of this candle usually what i do i'm gonna go to a one minute time frame because already i will be opening a five minute time frame a 50 minute time frame and a one minute time frame on different uh, monitors and that's when i'll be looking at all these time frames but a one minute time frame will give me a good opportunity the moment they break out of this nonsense okay so you must understand once something has happened on a bigger time frame moving to a smaller time frame is very 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 beneficial okay and i believe this is uh uh the, okay this is uh almost my last one as you can see this is an instance where yes they've came and closed everybody this is the low of yesterday as you can see so they closed everybody from yesterday because this dotted line shows the high and the low of yesterday so they closed everybody from yesterday and yes the move has broken up as you can see if you draw a line from here they made a higher high but i told you i want examples where i actually are uh, or trades where uh like they've uh the equity opens here at the top okay and then they go down like this okay you see they stop hunt back inside into the inside if maybe 330 opened here i wouldn't feel comfortable taking taking this trade so i will just do nothing okay so i want where they open and they hit the stops first as you can see now they're scaring everybody who got it right and they're closing people who are entering along the way because as you can see people who entered inside the ema they've just been closed out okay and that's where they give a rare track back to the inside so you know they are done with the stop uh hands and you can enter this trade okay or else you could wait for here if you don't trust this one and then yes you get 30 plus pips from here you get roughly 60 plus pips and that is something very good okay so i always want uh trades where they actually hit uh the, the equity opens and they go for stop hands if the equity opens here and they don't go for stop hands then i i find it hard to trust this trade because uh one of my criteria is i want to see them hitting stop hands and if i miss this trade fine i didn't miss anything anyway it's fugazi i told you what laurie said it's fugazi it's just nonsense that happens in your mind and you think it, it exists it doesn't exist you don't miss anything okay if it's not in your plan you don't miss it okay because i want trades that open at the equity time and go for stop hands that's when i want to enter okay i don't want to enter early okay because if you if you actually bought here obviously you're gonna say hey hey they they stop hunted me and then went in my direction you think they're against you they're not against you you're entering before they hit stops and then you are the bigger problem now okay oh and thank god this is the example where i was telling you at the beginning here i told you that uh i don't want to hold trade to the next week why because they might open with very big gaps this is a very big gap over 100 pips you can see guys uh for people who sold maybe here yeah, obviously they were closed okay and for people who bought here they're all they're, they're, they're like they didn't make much profit by the time the market's open so you must take advantage you must uh, be aware of that okay 
And guys, thank you. Just hit the subscription button if this video added value to you. It's free and you are supporting the channel. And now I know and I believe you are able, you will be able to remain patient. Why? Because wait for the equity time and wait for them to hit stops. Track every 15 minute candle that opens after the after the stop hunt or after the 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 the, the, the equity opening time because it might bring the opportunity. Most importantly. Be patient, know what you're looking for, uh, be highly selective on the sessions and you will be able to do that when you're analyzing your charts. If you analyze before, a day before, you know what you're looking for on the next day and that helps you a lot, okay? Have uh, a little uh, a little uh, group of currency you're looking at on the day, okay? Three is it's enough because you don't want to be scrolling be between many currencies and getting... Uh, uh, analysis paralysis where you are now unable to make decisions guys be patient patience pays they are not after you if they were closing you and you were thinking like somebody's after you they were obviously not and i believe now you see why that thing has been happening and you see that you were the one who was wrong okay so guys have a very beautiful week wait for stop hunts don't trade until the heater stops okay and i wish you all the best okay thank you guys once more subscribe please to support the channel because my objective is actually to help as many traders as i can that people who are buying courses that are not working that people who are buying robots that people are getting scammed by signals and i don't want that to happen to most people so when you actually support this channel and it ranks high most people get it those who are serious about building a trading business will actually see the value of this information because i share my experiences and i share things that took me a lot of time to master okay so i don't want you to start from where i started so that's why i want you to support this channel okay it's in a way giving back okay because this is free information anyway so guys i'm i'm not trying to blackmail you okay again it's your choice to subscribe or not okay thank you guys i appreciate you